Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Jimmy Kimmel, and uh, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm having trouble, uh, you know, getting over that Oscar glow. Um, but let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Josh Rogan. I'm the brand new uh, senior vice president for federal government affairs here at the Motion Picture Association, and I am excited to do my first ever film introduction at this beautiful theater and at this first uh, major post-Oscar screening for the amazing new film, Problemista. I want to thank uh, our friends at A24 uh, for co-hosting tonight's event, and uh, I'm delighted to welcome Julio Torres, uh, the highly acclaimed writer, comedian, television creator, and actor who is making his directorial debut with Problemista. And uh, I gotta say, this movie has an incredible cast. Uh, Tilda Swinton, uh, impressive enough, but uh, he cast RZA in the movie from the Wu-Tang Clan. I just, I wonder, I wanna know how that works. If, I wanna know, if he, did he write the role for RZA? Did he just friends with RZA and you get him in the movie? But I'll need more information on that. Um, but I think it's fair to say this is a big night both for uh, Mr. Torres and myself. Um, you know, uh, I'm feeling some kinship with him today. This is my first speech at the MPA, and he just directed his first movie, so it feels about the same to me. Um, but the truth is that everyone here knows that scary and uncomfortable feeling of being a first-timer, and Problemista is actually an homage to first-timers, to ambitious newcomers, and young creatives around the world who struggle to bring their bold new ideas to life. Mr. Torres talked recently about his own struggle to enter the film industry and how he poured that struggle into this movie. Uh, I did, and this is a quote, I didn't really know how to enter that world, he said. If I write a movie, he asked, what do I do with this document? Who do I show it to? Riza is probably the answer, but um, <laughs> he also said the journey of getting to that goal became the story of this film. And in Problemista, Torres digs into his experience as an immigrant artist struggling in New York, dealing with the pressure of trying to make a notoriously unforgiving metropolis amplified by complications of the U.S. immigration system. It's a story he was quite literally born to tell. His journey is unique, of course, but he's one of millions of younger adults around the world whose ability to tell their stories will determine the future and success of our industry. That's the responsibility they carry into the future. The MPA and our member studios believe that our responsibility today is to engage them to actively inspire, recruit, and welcome a broader, more representative group of storytellers into the creative community. We need to ensure that they have the tools they need, not just to succeed, but to grow a more vibrant industry, economy, culture, and society. So we need to all do our part. We need to think creatively about how to build a truly sustainable workforce of highly skilled creators in the decades ahead, because that workforce is not assured, and quite frankly, cannot be assumed. In a moment, we're gonna invite Mr. Torres to the podium to say a few words about the film. But before we do that, I am so pleased to introduce Congressman Joaquin Castro. Uh, during his six terms in the House, uh, Congressman Castro has worked to build greater and more authentic representation of Latinos in Hollywood. The MPA shares Rep. Castro's belief and supports the goal of broader representation as a way to build a better, stronger industry for Julio Torres and for the next generation of storytellers. Congressman Castro, why don't you come up here? Well, thank you, Jimmy, for that introduction. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Uh, wonderful to be here with everybody. I'm Joaquin Castro and very proud to represent my hometown of San Antonio, Texas. Hopefully there's some Texans here. Um, 
first, thank you to the MPA for hosting and for having us all here and uh, for doing that over the years for Latino films and so many other great films as well. And also to 824, uh, 824 that was founded, I think, maybe around 2012 or so and has been really an Oscar winning and Oscar nominations factory. Uh, just put out so many incredible films and television programs over the years. And thank you also to Yvette Rodriguez, my longtime friend out in California, who's a champion for Latino and Latina filmmakers in California. And I saw at least earlier Adrian Arch who was here, and I want to say a big thank you to her for all of her support for Latin America and for Latinos in the United States. Thank you so much, Adrian, for everything that you do. And then, of course, to our star here, Julio Torres. Uh, I had a chance a few weeks ago, because whenever you're going to introduce, obviously, a director or film, uh, they, you get an a advanced copy of the film to, to take a look at it so you know what you're talking about. And so I sat with my family and watched this film, and I thought, what an incredible story, and what incredible genius of putting together a film that is both surreal and avant-garde, and at the same time talks about an age-old story in the United States of an immigrant who's trying to make it in America and, and hustling and doing everything that he can uh, to get his visa in this case, uh, but also to be able to live here and to prosper here. And Julio is able to do it in a way that is poignant, that is funny, but is also different from the, the tales that we're used to seeing on film. So you really, I think, see both his acting and his directorial uh, and his film vision genius come through in this film. And I had a chance uh, earlier to tell him that I think this will be his first of many films to come. So congratulations, Julio, and please come on up. Wow, thank you so much. I, uh, hello. Hi. Hi, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I've never met so many important people. Uh, one after the other after the other. Uh, so thank you for, I know DC is a very busy town, so thank you for taking the time to watch a movie. I, uh, I, it's, it's odd to talk about it before you've seen it, so I'll just keep it short and say uh, it was truly, truly a joy to make. Uh, and it was just a, a really wonderful process of, of discovery. And it was made with friends because um, I really believe in making um, art that uplifts those next to you. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy watching it and if you don't know much about the movie you know one of my favorite experiences is to turn play without knowing the first thing about it and seeing what happens uh so that's it let's just watch the movie thank you thank you thank you, thank you.